Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the rip command, the sheet metal ripped rip command to create surface developments in Inventor. So I've got a little shape here which is going to be a label for a uh, bottle um, and what I need to do first off is to create it, uh, make it into a hollow part, so I'm going to, need to shell it so that it's just a thin um, label like surface. So make sure if you're doing that that you shell all the surfaces. So in this example here I'm going to need to shell top bottom but I'm also going to need to shell the um, faces of this cutout one, two and three so that that ends up being a completely hollow shape. So you can see if I I could stick that on a on a, on a, on a bottle if you like and it would create a uh, kind of label sort of shape. Thickness here, um, if it's if it's for a surface development make it as thin as possible maybe half a mil would be fine um, and that's that done. Now next thing we need to do is to convert this model into a sheet metal part. So in Inventor you can create different sorts of parts normally we just use the ordinary default millimetre part, here we're going to use uh, it to convert a sheet metal part. So we're going to hit, hit the button and then it's asking us where the surface of the metal is so I'm going to hit the outside edge of my shape. Now just double check here that you have selected the default millimetre template it may pop up as this one, which is in inches, which we don't want. So hit that one up first. Next thing to double check that the thickness is the same thickness as the shell you just applied. So often you'll come in and it will it be ticked. That may or may not be the right number. If that is not the same as your shell thickness, untick it and then edit it. Mine's coming through fine. Okay, once you've done that, you can OK it and you can apply it. Mine's all the correct, so I've not needed to change anything. That is now. Um, a sheet metal part. Uh, you can see that it's changed here to be folded metal and we've got all these sheet metal commands um, along our ribbon here. But what we're going to look at is we're going to look at something called the rip command which allows us to um, pick a point on the model uh, and essentially create a tear in the model down, down a line that allows us to flatten and unroll the part. So in order to do that we need to create a sketch and apply a point um, at, at, the, at the place on the uh, model that we want it to be cut. I want to do it at the, the thinnest part. So I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to use my planes here to hover over and see if I can find the uh, the one I want. So I want that one. That was on the bottom. That one's going the opposite direction. I want to cut it here. So if I hit that plane um, then I can draw a line here. I'm going to use this top corner. So project geometry command. That's going to allow us just to pick up that edge. If I zoom in you can see I've got a little yellow line there and I want to put a point on the end of that line which is here. To make sure you haven't selected the end of the, the inside line which would be here, that's the sort of thickness bit. It's got to be the outermost edge. Now if you've got a shape like this where one um, part of the shape is uh, an angle, always go for the squared off corner. It's going to make it a lot easier to, for the rip to work than if you put it here. Happy with that, finish sketch and then we have got um, the rip command here and all we need to do is to tell it what the face is, well, that's going to be the outside face and where the point is, well, that's going to be this point here. Now what should happen is you get a line coming down, that's the cut. You can leave the default size, I've never played with that. If you wanted it to be smaller for, for looking different I guess you could try it, it may stop things working. Um, as long as you've got that line you're going to be able to create the flat pattern. If you don't get that line, in this example, chances are either your point is not actually on the corner, it's maybe on this inside corner, or the thickness, your default thickness for the metal is not the same as the shelled thickness. They're the two most common faults. Once you've got that line you can just press OK or apply and you see now we've actually got a line going right through our part. So the last thing is just to um, hit, sorry cancel that, is to hit create flat pattern and it, and it does as it says, it just flattens it out so you've now got the surface development of that part. Go back to the folded part we can save it and we can use that. So we can actually insert that into a drawing um, either as a, as a folded model or as a flat part. Um, if you look at the tutorials on drawings you'll see one of them talks about um, surface developments.